The Washington Post is reporting President Trump has hired an attorney to help him with the Russia investigations, Mark Kasowitz. The New York lawyer has known Mr. Trump for years, even represented him in at least one divorce. Here to help break this down, legal analyst Paul Henderson, he's a former prosecutor, also the current advisor to San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee. Paul, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me here. All right, so first of all, like you just saw, there isn't just one investigation taking place here. There are multiple investigations. There are multiple. The House Oversight Committee, the House House Information Committee, the Independent Prosecutor, they're all collecting information. And what's going to happen with that information is it's going to be turned over to the Judiciary House Committee. And they will evaluate that evidence against standards of impeachment. And this is the high crimes and misdemeanor. And what, what happens next is that they will present that information to the House of Representatives and then they will vote and all you need is a simple majority in order to get an impeachment but keep in mind it's not just a simple majority because the republican party has forty five votes over the other party before that can take place. All right, so breaking it down because it seems like there is a long road ahead and we are just at the very beginning with the investigations. You've got to present the charges here. Then it has to go through the House and then it's turned over to the Senate. And then even after that, we take a look at everything, right? Senate holds a trial and then we figure out if there's going to be an impeachment or maybe a possible indictment. And like you were just saying, Republicans really hold, uh, hold court in Washington. So why on earth would an impeachment ever occur? Well, you know, there, there is some bad behavior that we are evaluating and looking at the corroboration with Russia. The interference or the sharing of the information or the dissemination of the information with Flynn. Who knew what and when did they know? The intimate, potential intimidation and the firing of Comey. There's a lot here. There is cannon fodder for this evaluation. Uh, there are real reasons to have all of these investigations going on all at the same time. But the real issue is going to turn on what are the parties going to do with this information as it comes out and as it continues to unfold for the parties. But why would his base turn on him? Why do you think Republicans might go ahead and, and call for impeachment? Well, one, there actually is bad behavior. And then, two, this could be a really good strategy for the party to remove him from office because then what they're left with is the vice president. And he is a politically savvy and well known in Washington, D.C. And having him at the head of the party right now gives him a lot of time to move an agenda forward. Right now, what we're seeing is that the agenda of this president and this administration is be slowly rolling to a halt because of all of these distractions associated with his behavior in these investigations. So that could be a good strategy to move the Republican Party ahead by removing this president and putting in a new savvy leader with the vice president and having him take over the party in his own agenda. And, and Paul, I want to ask you on a personal level, do you think it'll happen? Do you think impeachment will happen? You, you know, it's really going to depend on how much evidence gets turned over, both by that independent prosecutor and by these different hearings that are going on in front of Congress. I do actually think that there is bad and absolutely inappropriate behavior by this president uh, associated with this administration. And, and it's really just going to turn on what the Republican Party is going to do with that information because they control the House right now and they control what's going to happen with that evaluation in the hearing. It's going to be really, really interesting. And we have Robert Mueller in place now. We have special counsel. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens next. Paul Henderson, legal analyst, we appreciate you joining us tonight. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.